So this demonstration is how to use your noise canceller. Um, it's a very effective device, provided you have an effective noise antenna. The little telescopic antenna that comes with some of these noise cancelers, I don't know why the manufacturers even include them. They don't work. Don't even bother with it or waste your time. You'll just get frustrated. Your noise antenna has to be able to capture the same noise as your main station antenna. And what the noise canceller does is by adjusting the different gain, the noise antenna gain and the main antenna gain, so that the noise levels are at the same level, the phase is what takes the noise and flips it over, inverts it, and then mixes it back together. So when the signal leaves the antenna jack in the back into your receiver, the noise has been nullified or removed. So I've heard a lot on Facebook and other, uh, other internet sources that people claim that a noise canceller can only cancel a single noise at a time, only one specific noise. So with this demonstration, I'll show you how I'm going to null out WWV on 10 megahertz. Now, right now, it's coming in very well. You can see it's uh, like 20 over 9. The and the noise right. antenna that I have Four is 65 feet of wire helically wound uh, on a nine foot crappie fishing pole, carbon fishing, fishing pole. And that's strapped to the side of my fence uh, between houses here where I can get some RFI from my neighbor's home. So let's demonstrate how this can work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set your gains to zero and phase can be anywhere, that's fine. So we'll get started. You can still hear WWV in the background very weak. Bring that volume up a little bit. Now we'll start um, using the noise canceller. So what I like to do is start with the, the noise antenna and I want to bring the signal up so it's about an about an S3 give or take. Okay. Now go to your main antenna, the station antenna, and also give it to about a three. Right about there should be so fine. Put the noise antenna back to where it was and start playing with the gain, with the phase. So I'll move it out there for a bit. Need to have some more gain here. Okay, so now we can see the phase has been added together to make the signal stronger. Now we'll just start moving the phase one way or the other till you notice a drop in the signal. And it's right about there. Now once you reach this stage, you just want to rock your gains back and forth until the signal starts to disappear like that. Now we're still going to hear WWV in the background because this is coming from Skywave. And what's happening is, is because of the ionosphere, the phase, in, the phase of the signal is arriving at my noise antenna and my main station antenna, which is a full-size 40-meter loop at 35 feet at, at different angles. So in order to fully reduce WWV to nothing, I have to keep with the phase control and possibly the antenna gain. So you can see the phase changed and WWV came back. So this is with it off. That's the strength. At the tone, We're looking one hour, over nine. 22 minutes. Coordinated universal time. And this is with WWV nulled. Now I've had good luck with local noise sources where the phase doesn't change. It's, it's direct. Uh, it's direct to both antennas at roughly the same intensity. 
and it'll just completely uh, null the noise out. But this is on a per band basis. If I go to 80 meters, for example, it will need to be retuned. Um, or another, you know, maybe you go to 75 meters. But what I found is once it's set, for the most part, it can cover the entire band. We can still see the phase changing a bit with WWV. So if we take it out of phase, we can get the signals to add. So there we go. Now we're making the two signals, the signals between the station antenna and the noise antenna are actually adding together to give us a strong signal. It's not as strong as going straight to the main antenna, like this one is bypassing the noise canceller. But now here you can see that uh, it's not bad. So now we push phase angle back in and we go find the spot where it was okay signals coming up here so that's probably what's happening yeah I seem to have lost the spot here Coordinated universal time. That's not bad. So here we are with it off. And here we are with it back on. So we successfully took a very complex signal that has a carrier, two sidebands, some audio frequencies in there, tones, well, there are also audio frequencies, and we're able to uh, reduce to almost, still here in the background, still a usable signal, but imagine having 40 over 9 noise, or 25 over 9 noise from a sodium vapor lamp, or someone's, you know what, in their, in their basement, um, being able to do it that way. So, if you have a noise canceller, this is how you use it. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one. Um, there are others on the market, but I've used only the ANC4 and the MFJ. I prefer the MFJ uh, just because it has the ability to adjust the gain on the uh, noise antenna. And there you have it.